So I've been asked multiple times uh, over the last few years what a uh, launch of an A-10 consists of. So uh, I figured uh, while I'm messing around at 1.5, I'd uh, do a simulated launch from uh, two perspectives, uh, one from the pilot and then uh, what as a crew chief uh, we do on the outside of the aircraft. So uh, kind of skip over the boring parts pilot steps to the aircraft, I give them the forms, uh, which is the records of all the maintenance that's been done on the, uh, the A-10. They'll look that over and give me their pilot bag and uh, any other stuff that they want to throw in the pit. Uh, go up there and throw that stuff in the pit. Then the pilot will do a walk around checking munitions and the general airworthiness of the aircraft per his checklist. Uh, some crew chiefs walk around kind of shadow the pilot, some don't, uh, I always did. From there, once he's done, he'll climb up into the seat. Uh, I'll follow on the ladder and go ahead and uh, strap him into the seat. His, uh, all his different uh, connections to the parachute, to the uh, survival kit, all that good stuff. Jump down, get on the headset. When the pilot's ready, he'll uh, ask if three is clear by three he means the APU uh, he'll start up the APU basically you just kinda walk under the left wing as the crew chief and and watch the exhaust uh, once it lights off then it's just kinda hang out and wait till uh, he or she is ready and that's uh, kinda where we're gonna go to now So a lot of pilots, what they'll do is they'll set up all their systems with just the APU running. Um, they'll normally step to the aircraft an hour or so before their takeoff time. Uh, with A models, it was always at least an, uh, an hour because of how long it took the INS to line up. But with uh, C model, sometimes it's uh, 45 minutes to 30 minutes before takeoff. It uh, just really depends on the experience of the pilots. So we're going to simulate that uh, been in the seat, got everything set up. Uh, one of the things that in DCS, although it's not modeled, uh, a lot of time we'll put the uh, pay penny and cage mode. That's where it's at when it's not being used. Um, again, it's not modeled in, in DCS world, but uh, just for the sake of realism so to speak I went ahead and did that so as a pilot crew chief normally gonna stand kinda out to uh, where I'm looking now um, pilot will say one clear crew chief will say one clear crew chief will then walk not necessarily underneath the uh, left wing because they don't want to be underneath where uh, flare could dispense or uh, underneath the flight control but anyways, uh, Chief 1 clear, Crew Chief will come back, Sir 1's clear. Pilot will motor number 1, glance back, kind of make sure it's spinning. Chief good motor over the hump, good ignition. And as a crew chief, you're just basically out there watching. Uh, once you see the intake, the fans start to spin, get to where you can see the exhaust, make sure there's no smoke so there's, you know there's no fire. All right, so as soon as one started up as a crew chief, you're going to do uh, one of two things. We're going to go ahead and go to F2 view. Alright, first thing you're going to walk and do, and I know I'm underneath, but these two panels, that's where your left hydraulic system is. You're going to look in the panel to the left. Make sure you have 300 or 3,000 PSI on the accumulators. Then you're going to look at the panel, the small panel to the right. Uh, make sure the hydraulic system is still in the green. And then, as a crew chief, you're going to say, uh, flight control is clear, and then he's just going to 
cycle flight controls around and I'm going to say uh, controls look good, 2 is clear jump back into the pit and same thing chief motoring 1 glance back fan spinning, back to gauges good motor over the hump ignition Alright, so crew chief pretty much does the same thing they did with one. Watch the uh, intake for the fan to start spinning as soon as it does. Walk where they can see the exhaust, make sure there's no smoke. Once they do that, go to F2 view again. In the nose of the aircraft, there are the two emergency accumulators. Uh, it's your emergency accumulators for your brakes. We'll go in there, check that both accumulators have 3,000 PSI, as well as check uh, TEMS, which is an engine monitoring system, make sure there's no uh, engine codes. Let me turn off my taxi and landing lights. From there, crew chief walks back. Then we check the right system, which is the two panels just to the right of the antennas and the fuel vent mast. The first panel closest uh, to the black antenna, that's where your accumulators are. Check for 3000 PSI. Check the next panel with the circle with the X to make sure you have uh, uh, good fluid still. And then you move into position to start the flight control check. So basically, uh, you just get to where you can see all the flight controls. First things that are normally checked is the flaps. So, flaps at 7, full down, full up, speed brakes clear, partial, full, clear to cycle, cycling, Full close, flight controls clear, elevators up, elevators down, left up, right down, right up, left down, rudders left, and rudders right. Trim, left up, right down, right up, left down, elevators up, elevators down, and then in the pit, obviously, they're going to use the dial, rudders left, rudders right. Then, pilot would switch over to do uh, emergency trim. So, they would come in and use the knob on your emergency uh, flight control panel. We won't go ahead and do that, but basically, uh, we'll simulate that. So, using the uh, emergency control panel, elevators up, elevators down, left up, right down, right up, left down, speed brakes clear. And then pilot would open speed brakes, and if you watch the elevators, you can see the elevators pitching up and down, going back up once they're closed, coming down. So you just tell the pilot elevator down, elevator up, and that's uh, showing the pitch trim compensator. And then from there, pilot will hit takeoff trim. And he'll say, Chief, trimming the green. 
And then on most A10s, um, not all of them, but once the the trim is in the green, there's a black line uh, and that with the elevators on both sides of the tail. And you can tell, uh, that's how you tell it's in the green. From there, we move to the right brake. And basically, the pilot will pump the brake and we watch the pegs say pumping. Move to the left brake, pumping. From there, come to the front, and you're going to check the slats to make sure they pop up with the lift transducer. Uh, the lift transducer is that, uh, well, let me uh, zoom into it. That's the lift transducer. There's a little piece of metal that you can see uh, kind of in the middle that sticks out. The airflow of actually is what actuates that. So you take the comm cord because if the pilot a accidentally has pedo heat left on, it'll burn your hand. So you take your comm cord and actuate it up. When you actuate it up, your slats will pop up. Uh, there's only two positions for the slats, full up or full down, uh, unlike in DCS where they kind of vary. Um, so you do that. As soon as the you're done with that, they'll turn on pedo heat. You kind of stand there, tap uh, the outside of uh, your hand on the lift transducer for the heat. The AOA vane. And then you walk over and kind of jump up and uh, touch the, the end of the pedo tube to make sure it's good. Once I do that, Pilot will turn the heat back off, and then a crew chief just kind of walk around, go back up in the nose well uh, to make sure that uh, you didn't lose or that uh, accumulators are still good. Nothing leaking. Check Thames again for no grounding engine codes. Walk back to the air, the back. Uh, check your left system accumulator and the reservoir. Close the panels. Check the right accumulator and reservoir close the panels basically do a walk around and then you just uh, stay there till the pilot's ready once the pilot's ready he'll say uh, uh, tell you to pull chocks go over and pull the chocks from the right main left main go up close the ladder door disconnect the com cord and then uh, go out to uh, stand by to marshal So in a nutshell, that's uh, the basics of uh, of launching an A-10. Not much to it, uh, and just basically, uh, pilot does something, and uh, you repeat back what uh, he or she did. Uh, AP running depends on the time of year. A lot of times in the summer. Pilots will leave the AP running until they uh, get to EOR, and at EOR they'll shut it down. Uh, reason is the APU gives more bleed air than the, the engines at idle, so it gives them more air conditioning. They'll do that uh, depending on where they're at, cold weather environment as well. So, But uh, that's it.